So this is part two. Jesus is the Messiah of the Muslims and the Muslims only. Now, we just went over the fact that Jesus saved Rahab. Yes, I can say Jesus because it's actually Yahshua, Yeshua. Y'all even call him Yahweh Shai. It's the same man. Joshua was a picture of Jesus. He was not Moses. He was a servant to Moses. So you can't picture Jesus as the prophet like Moses. Joshua was a slave to Moses. He was the assistant to Moses. Moses and Joshua were not equal. Now, Jesus talked about John the Baptist and John the Baptist being greater than him. Joseph told us that Potiphar was his master. So we know that the only person that can be compared to Moses is Paul. Paul was greater than Jesus, okay? This is just the truth. This is why Jesus spoke of John the Baptist being more than a prophet. John the Baptist was a type and shadow of Paul. That's why he was in camel's hair. That's why he was in the relationship ministry. That's why he was saying, behold, the Lamb of God, which take away the sins of the world. That's why he was beheaded. John the Baptist was an innocent type and shadow of the apostate Paul. And the only one that can be compared to Moses is Paul. Okay? Paul was greater than Jesus. Think about it. Moses murdered an Egyptian. What is that a picture of? That's a picture of Paul murdering Jesus biblically. Paul was the father of Jesus, okay? Jesus was the son of Paul. Now, we'll catch up with that later. There's so much I can go on and go on about that, but let's keep going. Now, the prophet Isa purposely went to another nation. To piss his father off. Now I'm not talking about his father God. I'm talking about his father Paul. And we'll catch up. Watch this. Genesis 28 and 8. And Esau seeing that the daughters of Canaan. Please not Isaac his father. Then went Esau unto Ishmael. And took unto the wives. When she had Mahalath, the daughter of Ishmael, Abraham's son, the sister of Nebijoth, to be his wife. Now let's pause. I'm going to give you some ice off. Now, Isa is the prophet Isa in Arabic. It's I-S-A. Now think of Isaiah. It's I-S-A. Now think of Isaac. It's I-S-A. Okay, either way it go, this is speaking of still the prophet Isa, or it is speaking of his twin. Who is his twin? What are all these stories in the Old Testament regarding twins in the Bible really going into? Now, the twin is Paul. Paul is the false messiah. Paul is Jesus' twin brother, okay? Now, you got to open up your eyes. That's why it says he didn't please Isaac, his father, and it's spelled I-S-A. This is a picture of Paul. Jesus purposely went to another nation other than the nation of Israel to piss his brother off, Paul. Verse 9, then went Esau unto Ishmael. See, Esau, Ishmael. The prophet Esau is only interested in one religion. He picked a daughter of Ishmael to wife. Now, isn't that amazing? This is right up under your nose. The truth right before your eyes. We see that Esau purposely went to the daughters of Ishmael to piss his parents off. Just like Jesus, the prophet Isa, went to another nation to piss his brother Paul off. Which is really his father. 
Okay? He's pretending to be the father of the Christian church. And he's pretending to be the father of Jesus. But Paul is no God. Paul is only a man. He is the false Jesus that he talks about. Now, let's keep going. There's more metaphors in the Bible. How Saul, that's what I love calling Paul. His name is Saul, is the father of Jesus. Now, think about Saul and David. King Saul was the father-in-law of David. Now, let's go to 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 55. And when Saul saw David go forth against the Philistine, he said unto Abner, the captain of the host, Abner, whose son is this youth? And Abner said, as thy soul liveth, O king. See, I'm telling you, Saul is the king, man. He said, I cannot tell. Now, this is a picture of Jesus Christ because we know that he has no father. And this story of David and Saul has so much in it. You need to go back and read it. Now, we know that he is the son of Jesse, but the way the word play is in this scripture is making it seem like he doesn't know who the father is. And that is true because no one knows who is Jesus' father. He was born supernaturally. Now, let's get some more scripture on Saul being the father-in-law of David. Now, most of you should already know this. But I'm going to go into 1 Samuel 8.22. And Saul commanded his servants, saying, Commune with David secretly, and say, Behold, the king have delight in thee, and all his servants love thee. Now, therefore, be the king's son-in-law. Oh, so we see that Saul was the father-in-law of David. Just like Paul. He is the father of Jesus. Just like Potiphar was the master of Joseph. There's nothing new under the sun. The thing which hath been is the thing which shall be. Now, I know this is a shock to you because we are living in a nation of people who do not study. And the best Bible teachers we had of the past, believe it or not, they suck. These Israelite camps, they suck. We have the truth right now here in the house of David. And a lot of you are going to have to swallow your pride. You're like Naaman. You don't want to come to the dirty waters and dip. You have so much pride that you can't handle that a young black man who isn't white has the truth. And you can't swallow your pride and confess that your black Bible teacher in your Israelite camp, his knowledge is whack. But sooner or later, you're going to have to come to the house of David. You're going to have to come to the dirty Jordan River and dip. You're going to come to Islam. That's why I'm keeping tabs of all of you in my comments. Don't try to change your profile picture in the future. Don't try to change your hashtag in the future. I am going to identify you and I'm going to call you out because I'm hearing all the garbage you are spewing out of your mouth. And I'm looking at all the mess, all that garbage you are typing in my comments. Don't try to change yourself in the future and come to the house of David and dip. You're going to have to confess the truth and not be a liar. We have the truth right here in the house of David. And whether you like it or not, you're going to have to come to the Jordan River and you are going to have to dip. So let's do a recap. In part one, we talked about Joshua, the son of Nun. Jesus, the Messiah, saving only the Arabs and their family. That is going into the religion of Islam. All those who are joined to the house of David, and that is Islam, you will be saved. Why? Because Jesus is the Messiah of Islam and Islam only. Now we just went to another type and shadow of the prophet Isa 
and that is Esau. Esau only went to a woman of another nation to piss his parents off. He did that with all of his wives. Esau did not marry an Israelite woman. Esau was always a part of the other nations. Just like Joseph, he had nothing to do with an Israelite wife. He went to a daughter of Egypt. Okay? He didn't want the wife of Potiphar. He wanted the daughter of Potiphar. Now, think about it. Don't you know that a man is made in the image of God? And this is the reason why a woman can't have two husbands. That would be polytheism. This is the real difference between a man and a woman. A man can have two wives, but a woman can't have two husbands. A man with multiple wives is monotheism, but a woman with multiple men is polytheism. It is called adultery, and adultery is really polytheism. This is why Joseph married a virgin, a woman who did not know a man. This is what you call monotheism. One man, one God. Two men, that will be what? Two gods. Christianity is the definition of adultery. Christianity is the definition of idolatry. Christianity is the definition of polytheism. And many of us fail to realize that when a man has one wife, two wives, three wives, this is still monotheism because a man is made in the image of God. But when a woman takes another man and another man and another man, this is adultery. A woman can't have two husbands. And when you take another man's wife, you bring another man in the picture. You bring another God in the picture. Now we're going to pick back up on part three. And in part three, we're going to talk about Uriah being a type and shadow of Jesus and how Bathsheba is the lamb. Okay. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the truth.